So I've been putting a lot of thought into it. And this is what I came up with. I bought this machine. I'm gonna test it with you guys here. I haven't even taken it off the plastic yet. If you guys already had events, you guys probably know that the bubble guns are cool. They're a lot of fun, but they're a lot of work for us. And what I've noticed is when attendees come off the platform, sometimes they leave the bubble guns on and you're doing your thing over here and the bubble guns are on on the table and it's a big mess. Also, kids drop them all the time. They break, need to buy new bubble guns. And sometimes the bubble guns, depending on what type of liquid you buy for them, they won't work as great as they worked fresh out the box. And now you're dealing with the bubble gun that comes up with like three bubbles. So then you get that one video of that one person, you know, with that bubble gun, it's like one bubble comes out. So that's the reason why I invested into this particular bubble machine that has a knob. So you have control of how much bubbles it's producing. So let's go ahead and uh, check this out. I think this is gonna be a good alternative to my bubble guns. Uh, also, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna try to hook this up to my anchor. Cause if I can hook this up to my anchor, I can have my laser machines and my bubble machine running off the anchor because I don't plan on coming back with that external monitor, which is uh, basically the TV along with the Apple TV and the tripod. So let's go ahead and take it for a, a spin here. I'll back in. It out. Comes with a little handle. I like how it's flush right here, right? It's a pretty slick look. And this one in particular, if you guys can see, it has two propellers. So double the amount of bubbles. And the soap, we're just gonna pour it right in here. Comes with this cable that I'm gonna be connecting to the side, I believe it's right here somewhere. Right in here. Look how greasy my fingers is. I was eating a slice of pizza earlier. So hungry. Wait a minute, this isn't for my fingers. This is coming from in here. Anyways, also, you can have it uh, battery operated. Remember I told you guys that it's a good idea to buy batteries you guys can recharge. I think this one takes double A batteries. Yeah, this one takes double A batteries. So I can throw batteries in there as well. So this anchor right here, this is one of the first uh, <clears throat> major power banks that I bought. Um, after a lot of reviews, I bought it and I've been very happy with it since. And I see that a lot of you guys have bought it too as well. So I'm glad this thing worked out for you guys. But I'm, when I have a event during nighttime and I'm wrapping it up, right? I take down the RGB lights and all that stuff. Usually what I do is I'll have this on the side with the light on. See that light right there? I have the light on. So I'll have at least some light to work with while I'm packing up and getting ready to go at the end of the event during the evening time when it's dark. It's actually USB, so I'm sure this will be able to power up my bubble machine. Let's go ahead and put this to the test. I'm gonna turn it on. Get some bubbles in here. Oops. All right, so my first mistake, <laughs> I turned it on and the fan uh, pushed the liquid outside. So leave it off first. I need to read the manual. Uh, go ahead and pour a little bit in there. Now let's go ahead and turn it on. I like how it pushes the bubbles up in the air, so that's pretty good. So this is cool. So this is on like on low speed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up really high. I'm gonna back up the phone a little bit too, so you guys can kind of see the bubbles, at different angles here. So I want to give you guys another angle here. There you go. Okay, let me go ahead and turn it up here. Now I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn it all the way up. See what effect we get. Here we go. Okay, it's on full blast now, baby. Right now it is pulling, let's see, 16, 16 watts. Okay, right now it's on full blast and it's pulling 16 watts. So if I have the machine right now on this entire time at this speed, 
the anchor right now at 70% would give me six hours of runtime because it's only pulling 16 watts from the battery. So this is definitely something that you guys should probably consider getting next for your booth. I'm always gonna be coming up with like crazy little creative ways to just have like a, a production that is not only uh, you know outstanding, but also more efficient when it comes to the overall equipment that you're investing into. So this is definitely a nice little machine. One of, one, one of the bows went inside my upper lip. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move this right over here. Let me show you guys something. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And then when you're done with the bubbles, or done with for the night or the, the event, it has this. I can just pour the remaining soap right back into the bottle. Honestly, so far I can honestly say this thing is a winner. Before I finish this video, I just learned something really quick. Um, I had this attached to my power bank, my anchor down there. But I just realized you can also hook it up to a regular power bank, which is great because now this thing is even more portable. I can put it in a higher platform just like that to get bubbles even higher, just like this, right? Just wanted to share that part with you guys. They do not, do not want to leave that part out of this video because how cool is this, man? You have this fully charged, the battery's probably gonna last you a couple hours or more. Remember, this thing's only pulling 16 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link in this description I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have an upcoming event, I wish you the best of luck. Take care, guys. Peace.